It is 649. This is your morning in eight minutes. Right now, a $4,000 reward is being offered for any information that leads to a missing teen. Take a look at your screen. 16 year old Jacob Clifford was last seen in Kingston on February 10th. Officials say he may be with an adult woman, but they didn't release any more details than that. If you've seen him or know anything at all about where he is, please call the Roan County Sheriff's Office. And right now, a 42 year old man is dead after being hit twice on the interstate in Loudoun County. It happened late at night last Friday near exit 76 on I-75 South. Authorities say a 19 year old driving an Audi hit Yosip Kanolash from Pennsylvania. Police say another car then hit him as well. No charges are being filed. And right now, the family of Lisa Edwards, the woman who died after being in Knoxville police custody, continues to ask questions. Edwards' brother, Brad Cox, spoke during a public forum at Knoxville City Council. He says he respects police but doesn't understand how this happened. Other supporters told city leaders public officials failed Edwards and failed the community. KPD officials are still conducting their own internal investigation. The four employees involved remain on leave. Lisa Edwards' family hired civil rights attorney Devin Jacob, who is known for representing families in several high-profile cases, including George Floyd. Well, the Knoxville Knox County Sports Authority officially approved the price for a new stadium in downtown Knoxville. Now board mem members will vote and finalize the documents later this month. Once that's approved, construction will start. More than half of the $114 million project will be paid for by taxpayers through a bond release. The rest will be paid for by state grants and Smokies team owner Randy Boyd. The stadium is expected to be complete in 2025. Meanwhile, in Nashville, plans to build a new $2 billion indoor football stadium for the Tennessee Titans is taking another step forward, but that deal is far from finalized. The legislation passed on first reading last night at Metro Council. A second and final vote is scheduled for next month. The goal is to have the stadium open in 2026. Happening today, the Memphis Police Department's preparing to release 20 additional hours of footage in relation to the death of Tyree Nichols. He died after being beaten by police during a traffic stop in early January. The internal investigation into the incident is now complete. Officials say today's body cam footage will feature the audio amongst officers and first responders who were at the scene that night and at the hospital. New details this morning. Two Americans kidnapped in Mexico are back on U.S. soil, recovering at a hospital. Tragically, two of the people with them died. Mexico's president says those responsible will be found and punished. A 24-year-old man is in custody in connection to the attack. Federal officials say a group of four people traveled last Friday to the eastern border town of Matamoros for a medical cosmetic procedure when they were caught in a shootout between two cartels. Latavia McGee and Eric Williams survived. Shaid Woodward and Zendel Brown were both killed. Madam Morris is under a level four do not travel designation from the State Department, its highest travel warning. A bipartisan group of lawmakers in Washington are officially introducing legislation that boosts President Joe Biden's ability to place a nationwide ban on TikTok. The bill doesn't specifically name the app, but it does give the U.S. more powers like a ban against foreign software deemed a national security risk by the Commerce Department. Concerns have been building over users' personal data on TikTok being shared with the Chinese government. Lawmakers here in Tennessee are also taking steps against TikTok. A new bill would ban the app on college campuses is headed to the House for a vote after passing in the Senate. The ban would only be when someone is using the campus Wi-Fi. If passed, it would head to the governor's desk for signature. And the Justice Department filing a lawsuit trying to block JetBlue's nearly $4 billion purchase of Spirit Airlines. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the merger would harm consumers seeking lower cost flights and violate antitrust law. JetBlue, on the other hand, argues that creating the nation's fifth largest airline could force larger carriers to cut ticket prices. And today, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell will testify before the House Financial Services Committee. In a hearing yesterday, Powell told the Senate Banking Committee the Federal Reserve will need to raise interest rates higher than expected in order to tame inflation. The next time the Fed could raise interest rates is in three weeks when the board meets again. We've got a recall alert this morning on some eye drops that could possibly cause blindness. 
Pharmedica USA is recalling two lots of its purely soothing 15% MSM eye drops because the product may be contaminated. Company officials say the problem could result in blindness. The company says so far it has not received any reports of anyone getting hurt. If you have this brand of eye drop, you should stop using them immediately and return them to the store where you bought it. WVLT is proud to be your official station of the Vols. The fourth ranked Lady Vols softball team playing its first midweek game of the season tonight, hosting Tennessee Tech at Sherry Parker Lee Stadium. First pitch is at 6 o'clock. If you bring two canned food items for donation, you can get in for free. 654, let's get a look at your first alert traffic with Whitney. Well, several counties will be seeing a large convoy traveling from Knoxville to Kingsport this morning. This is video of the one we saw moving on Monday. You can expect those delays and want to be careful, especially in Jefferson, Hamblin, Green, Washington and Sullivan County. This move is happening now. Expect to be completed by three o'clock. Taking a look in Jefferson County right now, we're not seeing any major delays on 11 E where that convoy is going to spend much of its time. Just a heads up though in Green County later this afternoon, there will be some rolling roadblocks taking place on I 81 when it makes its way over the interstate and mile marker 23. So heads up that could slow you down if you are moving that way as you're getting out the door right now. All those interstates and main roads are looking good. That volume is light. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. 655. Now, as we start the day off with these layers of clouds moving in, colder air settling in today, we're feeling it in the winds right now. So, temperatures actually ranging from more mid to upper 30s, outlining the valley at the moment, still some low 40s in the valley, but it feels about five degrees colder at times this morning. Make sure you have your warm jacket out, those winds more of a factor early. In fact, those gusts are kicking up to around 25 miles per hour. These layers of clouds are moving through throughout the day, but we'll limit rain as we go through the day that'll be picking up late. So that cold wind absolutely a factor. It feels more like mid 30s in the valley. Then this afternoon gusts will be closer to 15 to 20. So not as gusty as it is this morning, but still we'll be sitting at 50 at noon to 59 looking more mostly cloudy overall this afternoon with a stray shower this evening. Now that's the first chance for rain just slowly adding up. Then we've got rain coming in Thursday night to Friday. This is our first cold front that adds up to about a quarter of an inch of rain for most of our area, especially since it's decreasing coverage. So kind of a batch comes in overnight, then it drops off. The problem is Saturday night to Sunday. We're going to have on and off rain. So look what this adds up to when it just comes in in a batch and sticks around. Well, now we get about an inch of rain, so obviously a lot more headed your way. I'll track it out for you coming up on the CW. All right, we're headed to the CW WBXX. Hope you have a very nice Wednesday.